Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And I'm going to show you guys basically just how T-Mobile Home Internet has been for me. Kind of an update video since I've had this service for close to two years now, I want to say. And, uh, you know, it's worked out just fine. Um, so here I have a... I'll be running a couple of speed tests. I'm using two different devices, the Pixel 6a and the Pixel 7a. They got two different modems. So we're just going to see, you know, what kind of results we get uh, from these devices. And, um, you know, I've used the T-Mobile Home Internet for a lot of things. Uh, I will say this off jump. I use it for live stream broadcasting to both my YouTube channels and Facebook and, you know, all those social platforms that I podcast on. Um, for gaming, not gaming online, but just like doing my live stream gaming to the gaming channel. Um, I use this service to basically execute that. Uploading videos consistently and, uh, you know, watching my uh, my TV for entertainment uh, when I watch things on Hulu, Max, uh, Disney Plus, any of those services. So um, you'll see the speed test that I'm getting from these two devices. And, um, you know, uh, it's it's fairly OK. It's fairly OK. Uh, I know people are hung up on numbers specifically, like they want to see 500 megabits results. They want to see a gig results, you know, gigabyte down, gigabyte up. Um, and I can tell you guys that, you know, a lot of things that I do is at this speed. Shocking, right? It handles it okay. Now, am I going to say that this is super fast, true 5G or any of that other stuff? No, but this is what I get in my area. Verizon Home Internet's not an option here. Even till today, it's been, you know, a year and still does not work out here. Um, so eventually it will, but not at this moment. So I'm using this, uh, I can say that this is actually better than Cox internet. Um, I've used Cox internet, uh, before, and it's just very pricey to get similar speeds as this. Um, I think I was paying like almost $165 for this type of speeds with a uh, Cox internet. So yeah, <laughs> I'm spending only 50 bucks for this. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, right now we're running fast. And this is just basically going to show me like, you know, the types of speeds I would get for streaming video content on, you know, like my Google TV, my tablets, um, my smart devices when I watch stuff. And so uh, on the Pixel 6a, it shows 130 megabits per second. Uh, so that's not bad. Um, I've seen, you know, with uh, like Verizon Home Internet and other services that uh, people can get like 500 megabits down uh, for the uh, video streaming. And that's pretty good, I must say. Uh, I'm not a stickler that has to watch everything in 4K. I don't need it to be, you know, that vivid. Um, I just enjoy watching movies and watching TV shows. So I guess I'm just a plain Jane person. Yeah, so about 130 on the uh, Pixel 6a, 110 on the Pixel 7a. And uh, so the last steps I'm going to run here is uh, nperf on both of these. At certain points of the full benchmark, I'm going to speed things up. Uh, that way, this video is not dragging out to be like nine minutes long. So the only point that's going to be uh, basically at normal speeds is just the speed testing from nperf. So you can see on the Pixel 6a, it's pushing over 200 megabits on a down. Kind of weird, but I mean, it is what it is. And uh, the uplink kind of about the same, you know, 60, 40 to 60 megabits on a down. So um, that's what we're getting. It's testing the ping right now. And uh, we'll speed it up here in just a sec. Just rolling through the whole benchmarks. And it's testing websites and video playback. Doing all that in different formats. So 36, 720, not 36, but 360, 720, and uh, 1080. Or is it 40? Can't remember. Anyways, um, yeah, so 107,916 endpoints. Um, 75. 21% on the browsing and 96.21% on the streaming. So not bad. Uh, now we're doing the Pixel 7a and seeing what kind of results we get with that. Uh, if it kind of goes similar. And again, the reason I'm doing two different devices because they have two different modems, right? The Exynos 5130 on the Pixel 6a and the Exynos 5300 on the 7a. Um, so we'll see what we get. Kind of speed things up here. Kind of blast through it. And the results come out to be 91,208, 95.34% on the streaming and 
percent on the browsing. So T-Mobile Home Internet is decent. Uh, not the best, but it gets the job done. And I have used it for remote work. So, I mean, hey, that goes great. Thanks for checking out this video.